Good morning. I'm coming to you with great sadness, not only as an actor, but as the National Chief Advocate for Disabled. After numerous complaints from the Booth Theater, I went to the show Elephant Man. The performance was amazing. This is not about the performance. It's about disabled people who pay $169 to be publicly humiliated by the staff and security present at the theater. When the complaint came in, after numerous uh, restructuring of the ADA in the city of New York, um, a lot of people think that the mayor's office is the governing factor. It's not. The state and the federal government are. When I asked them about the facility and went and viewed it Thursday prior to this past Friday, October, I mean, uh, sorry, uh, February 20th's performance, I was convinced but not satisfied with the accommodations inside. One of the first accommodations inside that is not supposed to be more costly because of a person's disability, which is a federal mandate. The city has no authority when it comes to the ADA. It has a responsibility. That's my job as the National Chief Advocate for Disabled. As you can see, many pre presidents recognized my service my service to country, my continued service to country. You're going to see some rare footage that I've never done before, but on behalf of all those I serve, disabled veterans and other members in society who have been compromised, robbed of their freedom, just as the, Sh the Schubert Theater, uh, the Booth Theater and the Schubert organization robbed me of, humiliated me publicly, demeaned me, ridiculed me, and then charged me for it. And it was their staff and security. The day before, I spoke with the leading member, Mary, at the, uh, Mary Burdell, I think her name is. Um, I have it on the notes. Because my focus is for your freedom to be enforced. We have a constitution that men and women who serve this country on four generations of military service to country. When you go to our website at www.adaadvocates.com, you will see the changes we've made in country. It's not the local uh, mayor's office, Vic Polisi's the new guy who's the successor to my dear friend, Matt Saplin, who used to come to me to help change policy because city level couldn't penetrate state or federal government like this organization because of our relationship with presidents, senators, and governors around the United States. But this one is intolerable. We will seek the Schubert organization to resolve this in the manner in which they ridiculed me will be the same way they'll apologize publicly at the theater and suspending that worker. I don't want them to be fired, but I want them to be suspended without pay. I want them to be robbed of the dignity I was robbed of as a paying patron at the theater to go and enjoy a show with everyone else. The worst part of it when I went to, entered into the handicap entrance at 7.20, 7.22, 10 minutes before the door opened, one of the accommodations should have been, and should be, that they let the, the special needs individuals in first without ridicule, without delay, without hindrance. Because the security member in the door that's for the handicapped to walk in, I went in, leaned on the wall, and I'm going to show you why. Rare footage. I'm doing this because of my fellow Americans that are out there who got service-related injuries, who lost legs, who may need this wall to lean on. Now you're going to see why I had to lean on that wall. As you can see, and I'm not being dirty, I'm in my shorts. As you can see the scars and the mutilation of the legs come back up. I needed to stand in the doorway by the door that opens, the setting is similar to this. She re demanded that I move away and shouted out, Oh, he's handicapped and he needs to stand there. All of the people, patrons, <gasps> sighed and moaned, Oh my God, doesn't she realize the legality of what she just done? 
And she kept repeatedly saying it so loud they could hear it in the street. And as they were preparing the service counter inside, when I walked in, people were apologizing to me. I'm sorry you had to go through that. Don't they understand that that's the worst part of it, of the demeaning, that people approach me and now they all know? I couldn't take it. I'm a big boy. If it was one-on-one -on -one and she said that, we're going to run into those people every day. But here's the problem. She works for the Schubert organization. She's an employee in her official capacity, expressing the policies of that organization by taking those actions and steps that demeaned, ridiculed, insulted, and abused me publicly in a place where I paid as a regular patron to go in and enjoy a show. And I was uncomfortable the whole evening knowing that as the people walked by and other famous people in our industry that I've had the honor of working with recognized me and looked over and said hello. Some actors from the show Resurrection and Bradley, uh, Bradley Cooper, we went backstage to meet with him because he got a call in advance that the national chief was coming and Bobby, the manager of the company manager, said, Brad texted me and emailed me that Bradley wants to see you and do a photo op with you because we're wishing him well for his extraordinary role portraying one of America's most famous heroes, Chris Kyle. He portrayed him and by doing so, he gave honor and showed the depth of what veterans go through after service to country. He deserves that Academy Award, by the way, and we're rooting for him. I gave him my ID card to take and know that we were with him. And we're there rooting for him tonight. But that doesn't excuse the fact. And they even heard back there, they're a different part of the theater. They have nothing to do with the front because they're an acting company. They were feeling ashamed. And my integrity as, as a well-known advocate and actor for some of my stuff and the work I've done for, for disabled, disabled veterans. This will not be tolerated. I'm asking you, America. You write those theaters. You call. This could be your family member. This could be somebody that you know that served country. This happens in Giant Stadium, Yankee Stadium. I get the phone calls and I go out, but it shouldn't be just me. You're responsible to fight for the Constitution. It's your duty as an American to protect and defend it against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Surely if they came on our land, we would fight and protect everything that we believe in as Americans. Do we not believe that our disabled children, friends, brothers, sisters, mothers, fathers, don't they deserve that defense? It is the Constitution of the United States. We are Americans and I will defend it with my life again. And I don't have a problem with that. But I do have a problem with the Schubert organization and the boot theater. But as far as Bradley Cooper is concerned, and that whole company, the show was extraordinary. He also portrayed a disabled man and he did it to the best. Amazing. The performance was amazing. But his Chris Kyle performance, he emulated him it could have been his twin. From beginning to end, you got 100% support here on the veterans and those that I represent. We're rooting for you, Bradley. Because of what they done to fight for this constitutional right, these people here at the theater and public entities all around should be ashamed of themselves. Because if it wasn't me today, it'll be another veteran tomorrow. And we can never tolerate that. God bless you and the United States of America. I'm Darren Dion Aquino.